finally, you know, if, you know, just the other scenario, we laid out one, if the other scenario is Hillary Clinton ends up at the end of the day, thanks to the superdelegates and others with the majority that she needs to be the nominee, what's going to happen to all of those Bernie voters? And will you vote for Hillary at the end of the day, if you have to? Uh, I'm, I'm really not sure. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm so sick of the Republicrats. Uh, you know, I mean, they're, both parties are, are in bed with Wall Street and Big Pharma and, uh, you know, the chemical companies. I mean, you name it. Uh, I, so, uh, I, I mean, so many of the people that are out there supporting Bernie are people that had checked out of politics, yeah. that, that said, you know, I'm not going to be involved in that system because it, it's not addressing any of the mm -hmm. things that I care about. It's mm -hmm. not really meeting any of the my needs. It, it's the both parties are serving uh, the corporations and the ultra wealthy, and you know I I I personally don't believe that a lot of the people that have been activated by Bernie are gonna are gonna be voting for Hillary. Jerry, well. Uh, I'm, of course, doing all I can to get Bernie nominated. Uh, unlike Ben, I probably will vote for the Democratic person only because, uh, in my mind, the, the Democratic nominee is going to be so much better than anyone the Republicans are currently looking at. And uh, I'm hopeful that uh, going forward there, there will be no turning back, that yes, Maybe not everybody will stay activated who's become activated, but uh, you know one of one of the things Bernie says in his rallies that everybody relates to is enough is enough. Yeah, it's it's bull. Enough is enough. We either take the country back for the people, or we give it away to the corporations and the super wealthy. It's it's that simple.